So with your valueaddon.com membership, you actually have two different control panels. Now the first one that comes standard is called the admin control panel. And with this, it allows you to administer all of your current membership websites in one location. You can log in and you can view all of your available membership sites that you've created. You can create additional membership websites and you can also change and configure the current ones you have in your account. Now that's the admin control panel and it has all of the access with no restrictions. Now a different type of control panel is what, is what we call the site owner control panel and this allows you to administer just one single membership website at a time. If someone has this login, they'll have to physically go to your membership website URL and log in and they can administer just that particular membership website. This is great for giving out this login to maybe uh, webmasters or your assistants or content creators because it doesn't give them full access to your other account details and it also doesn't give them full access to your other membership websites. So. Once again, very simple. Admin control panel gives you access to everything inclu including all of your membership websites. The site owner control panel only allows you to administer that particular membership website. With that said, let me go and show you a demo of these two different control panels. Okay, so let me show you a quick demo of the admin panel. To get there, just go to valueaddon.com and click on the customer login link at the top right hand corner or you can type in valueaddon.com slash login in your browser. This will take you to the admin page. Go ahead and enter your admin username and password. And once you're logged in, you are now logged into the admin panel where this allows you to administer everything within your value add-on account. You can manage all of your membership sites in one location, you can create new membership sites, and you can edit the existing ones you have. So in this admin account, you can see that I have two different membership sites that I can change and edit. Now, if I wanted to edit them as an admin, all I have to do is click on the Manage button, and this would take me to the Manage section of this site. But what about the Site Owner Control Panel? Well, if you remember, when we created a new membership site, we gave it a particular login. Let me show you what we did. When you created a new membership site, if we scroll down here, we actually created a contact email and a unique username and a unique password for just that website. So to get to that website, let's go back to the admin panel, you'll see that we have different URLs for our membership sites. Let's choose a membership site that we want to log into as the site owner. For this example, I'm going to choose the online art school example that I created earlier. I'm going to right click, open this in a new tab, and this is going to take me to that individual membership website. Now, if I wanted to log in as just a site owner and just manage this membership site by itself, then here's how I would do that. I would go to the URL and click on Login. And this is the same login that your customers will go to. This is the same login that your membership users will log into. And this is also the same login that you will use to log in as just a site owner. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to type in my login details. And when I press log in, it's going to log me into just the site owner area of this particular membership website. Now, with this login, this gives me access to administer everything that has to deal with just this membership website. You can see that once I'm logged into the site owner control panel, I don't have access to manage any other membership sites or any other things that I do have in the admin control panel. So hopefully this demo kind of showed you the difference between the admin panel that gives you access to everything and it also showed you how to access your site owner control panels that only gives you access to administer that particular membership website. And remember, the site owner logins are optional. You don't need to use those. We, uh, you know, make you uh, create a site owner login every time you create a new membership site, but they're totally optional to use because you can always get to this by using your admin login and clicking on the manage buttons here and these will auto log you in. So the site owner logins are actually optional but you do have them just in case you want to hand them out, give them to somebody else or use them yourself. Hopefully this video has answered your questions and uh, now you understand the differences between these two different control panels.